you want to decrease your ping and overall improve your internet, this is the EXM Network Tweaking Utility, a tool designed to optimize your network settings in order to decrease and stabilize your ping while also getting rid of packet loss and buffer bloat. And today I'll be showing you how to download it and use it. But before we get into the video, I want to tell you guys about the EXM Premium and Standard Tweaking Utilities. Tools which are made to completely optimize your PC for the best possible performance and lowest possible latency with an impressive of a few buttons. We have over 3,000 customer reviews on our Discord server and website, so make sure to check out exmtweaks.com to unlock your full potential. There's also a massive update dropping around the time that this video is dropping, so make sure to stay tuned for that. All right, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is downloading the tool used in the video. So for that, you just simply want to go to the description of any of my videos, and in here, simply press on the Discord link. This will take you to our Discord server, where in here, you just have to scroll down to the free tweaks category. All right, so in free tweaks, you simply want to find the exm free network utility and press on the download link this will take you to a google drive and in here uh, you have a simple zip folder which you just right click on it and download it and while it's downloading i want to tell you guys something get this video to 2000 likes and get us to 32,000 subs for an updated version of this tool with some new tweaks so once you've downloaded it it will simply show up in the top right corner right here so you just want to press on the folder all right so in here you can either extract it like this or you can just drag it onto your desktop like this to extract it so yeah once it's on your desktop, simply right click on it and run it as administrator. This is very important because it will make sure all the tweaks apply properly. Uh, for some of you guys, it may say like Windows protected your PC, but it just says that it's an unrecognized app simply because the app changes certain settings on your PC. But I can assure you that it's completely safe. And also it's completely open source. So you can use something like Notepad++ and just straight up look through the code. Like it's simple as that. Just press more info and run anyway. So now it will put you to this little welcome screen. Just press in key to continue. And now it's time for a restore point, which will basically allow you to revert the changes made to your PC by the utility in case you don't like them. Just press one followed by enter and it will make a restore point. So restore point just completed. All right, so it just opened the menu and now I'll walk you through how to use it. So first, I highly recommend making a buffer blow test before. So just press B. This will take you to this little website where just press start test and this will basically measure your buffer bloat. All right, so here are my results. As you can see, I have an A buffer bloat, which is without any tweaks applied. And if you're wondering what buffer bloat is, it's all explained on the website. But what you should know is, is that the better your buffer bloat grade is, the better your internet will be overall and the more stable your ping will be when your internet is under load but yeah you can read the full article on the website but that is the goal of this utility to improve this all right so anyways the first 12 options in the utility are basically just you pressing a button and it will apply the tweak for you there's not really much to explain and for that i added an apply all button which i'll be using in case it gets stuck or something just press enter and yeah so next we have setting a qs policy which will basically make it so your router will prioritize a single task over others of course you can select the task and i'll be showing you how to do it. All right, so the first two steps are basically just gonna make sure that gpedit works and you need gpedit in order to apply the QS policy. So yep, I'll do the first two steps. And now you can open gpedit and it should look something like this. And in case it doesn't start, just press four. This will take you to a link in my Discord server and it will tell you exactly how to download it. Anyways, uh, once you open it, simply go into Windows settings, policy-based QoS and just right click on this and press create a new policy. All right, so the name doesn't really matter that much it's just for organization sake i'll just name it fortnite since that's what i'm going to be setting it to so next we have the dscp value just set this to 46 i'll leave this setting alone then press next so on this select only applications with this executable name so what you want to do just start uh, whatever game or program you want it to be so i'm going to start uh, my fortnite all right so once you have the application open in the background just open task manager and in here as you can see i'm going to make it fortnite so i opened fortnite just right click on the application and task manager and and go into details in here as you can see this is the name open file location right click on that and uh, press the rename button and just copy the whole thing with the exe included so for fortnite it's going to be fortnite client windows 64 shipping.exe and yeah it should work like this for any other program that you wanted to use and after that you can just close the application anyways after that you can just press next in the next page don't change anything press next and in here you want to set this to tcp and udp and leave these two on touched and just press finished all right so boom us policy has been made if you ever want to just uh, get rid of it just delete it all right so after that we have optimizing nic settings and a little warning only do this if you're on ethernet so yeah just press 14 and press ok on the pop-up and in here you can just press one followed by enter and of course you can always revert it here 
And the last thing that we're going to be doing is toggling buffer bloat, which this will either enable or disable auto tooling, depending on the option you choose. So at the start, we did a buffer bloat test. So if you have pretty high download speeds, for example, something above 250, but you're still getting really bad buffer bloat, then I'd consider doing this option. And then we have normal speed and normal buffer bloat. And if you have slow internet, uh, like your download speeds are not that high, then of course do the second option, or you can just straight up skip this because that this is already the default. But yeah, this is uh, in here just in case some of you guys want to decrease your buffer bloat even more. So yeah, I'd highly recommend testing it out. And of course, uh, you can always change it back. So yeah, anyways, after that, you can just straight up restart your PC, what I'm going to be doing. All right, so as you can see, I went from an A to an A plus grade, which is a pretty decent improvement, especially since I have really good internet already. So that's why it didn't do that much for me. Actually, it cannot really do even more for me since A plus is the best grade. But yeah, for the people with worse internet, they will be able to notice a much bigger difference than me. Anyways, that's everything for today's video. Comment below uh, what buffer bloat grade you have at the start and what you had at the end. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye.